Great and night to uh, Lida Menorah, Rob I, Maeda. Yeah. So <laughs> nice out there tonight, Rob. Not too much wind, dry conditions outside. Uh, the only concern I think for tomorrow morning could be the return of some patchy fog. We're really not seeing that right now around San Francisco. Pretty view there at 59 degrees. Southeast wind at five miles per hour into San Jose. Christmas in the park also looking very nice at 52. Uh, again, not much of a wind outside, and it's the combination of light winds and strong high pressure above, which is an issue for patchy fog. Not right now in Dublin, though. You might notice a little bit of that starting to form before sunrise tomorrow morning and around Concord and uh, Walnut Creek. It's 49, a little bit of haze in the skies. And with high pressure, unfortunately, air quality not that great around the Bay Area. You've probably noticed it the last few days driving around town, the band of haze that's in the sky. Again, with high pressure, doesn't really allow the smoke pollution to kind of move out. So we've got moderate air quality levels again for most of the Bay Area and the highest concentrations of the smoke, I think, for wood burning uh, type smoke uh, that could cause some issues for air quality will be up in the North Bay, Santa Clara Valley and the Inland East Bay. Also fog, though, watch what's happening here with the visibilities at times less than a mile briefly there around Santa Rosa. I think it'll be the East Bay Valleys and the North Bay Valleys, especially if a light offshore breeze they could bring in some central valley fog at times, especially through the middle part of the week. So for the morning, hazy skies. If you don't have fog for the morning, 40s to start the day. Now watch these temperatures considering that our average highs are about 60 to 63 degrees. So 75 in Morgan Hill could be close to some record territory tomorrow. 73 in San Jose, mid to upper 60s from San Francisco to Oakland near 70 and North Bay temperatures for another day in the upper 60s to low 70s. So again, you see the fog there setting up in the Central Valley for the morning. We're going to get another round into Tuesday morning and another round setting up for Wednesday. Above all, the action is high pressure here, which really doesn't allow the lower levels of the atmosphere to mix very well and obviously sends the storms way off to the north. But there's some hope by late next weekend, we'll begin to see this high retrograde or move to the west, which should allow the system here from the Gulf of Alaska to drop into the Pacific Northwest, which will for a time we hope in about eight days from now bring us a chance of rain. Again, it's an inland tracking storm, so it's not going to have anything close to an atmospheric river, but it will have cold air support that should bring some snow to the Sierra. Then behind that, we're going to get some gusty north winds picking up at times. So really want to maximize those rain chances on Monday. Again, as we head out about eight days from now, could see some gusty winds following that. But again, that's off the screen. It's not in the seven day forecast we're going to be looking at this <laughs> week. It's what we'll be talking about hopefully this time next weekend. As you see, San Francisco looking pretty nice weather wise, just patchy fog at times in our inland valleys and more 70s across the board as we go through the week. So we're going to start a new month, December. It's already here. Wednesday, we're going to keep the warm temperatures going with some cooling next weekend and hopefully rain chances the next time we look at that seven day forecast next weekend.